I believe this is a day the Lord has made for us to celebrate. And sometimes to celebrate, you got to remember the good things that happened along the way. So it was my privilege to be in the right place at the right time in 1993 when the building became empty. And the question was, when I would walk by it, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that was my playful question when I would walk by it. And what happened was Libby Bauer wrote an article in the Terre Haute paper. And she said, I went on vacation in North Carolina and I saw a free clinic and we need one of those. And I called within an hour because within my heart fluttered a commitment and a conviction from Mother Theodore on down to Sisters of Providence that says, we have the place for that clinic. And from that day forward, I really believe that the energy was here for all of us to develop this clinic together. The greatest gift that has been given to this project is Charlie Welker. We prayed and prayed. We needed a man of mission. We needed a man that would keep the vision of the love, mercy, and, God, and justice of God on the face of this clinic.
today I want to announce that we are serious. We want the legacy of the Sisters of Providence. We want the legacies of St. Anne's to hold tight here and to move forward and to flourish. So that endowment is going to put 275,000 of a matching grant into this. Few people have the opportunity to have a dream like this come true. I am grateful that my dream came true, that God gave me that dream, and that you have continued it to this day. May God continue to bless the work of our hands and our hearts. Amen. Most of all, most importantly, thanks to the staff of this clinic, whose dedication to their mission, uh, whose compassion, whose professional skill make us what we are today. They're the tree that's grown from that roots, and they are the heroes of this moment. Mr. Sinconi referenced them, but certainly I cannot forget our staff. We have an amazing team. As of next week, we'll have 38 employees making an incredible impact every day to carry out our mission, and I'm grateful. This team has shown great resilience the past year. Uh, my friends from Hannig are back there, but they know they caused us uh, plenty of pain and challenges. <laughs> you know, it's one thing when somebody's in your house doing a little bathroom remodel, but when they live in your house for a year and they tear up the entire place, uh, there's plenty of challenges. And then you probably heard about this thing, uh, this COVID pandemic. So we threw that in there for the last six, uh, six seven months. And this team has been amazing. Thank you, guys. of the Sisters of Providence will always be hospitality and care for the poor. And this expansion will increase the hospitality of this campus without question and increase its potential to care for the poor. So it was a slam dunk. will come and go in greater safety. Uh, people will gain access to expanded services and care. Uh, people will benefit from our improved efficiencies. And people will have a brighter, modern, convenient space to visit. The Wabash Valley Health Center is a cornerstone in the health and wellness of our community. At a time when wellness and health are objects of public scrutiny and the cause of no small amount of stress and anxiety, 
this clinic has grown to meet that challenge. People have their roots, their family roots here. Um, I have family roots in this neighborhood. And um, it's a neighborhood that's resilient and it's strong, but it's had its struggles as well. So uh, this adds to the quality of life. It brings much needed medical care to the residents of this area. So it's just an outstanding project. And we're just proud to, to play a, a very minor role. that our provident God will continue to bless the work of Wabash Valley Health Center in its mission to provide excellent, compassionate, quality health care in this sacred place for many years to come. Thank you. driving force from the beginning, from day one of the planning process, we've worked very diligently to stay focused on our mission and ultimately do what we do and that's create access for our services. And I, I trust and I'm hopeful and I'm confident that we have achieved that goal and that when you take a look inside, you'll, you'll see what we've achieved. expanded facility, we will not lose sight of it's still the people that make it what it is and our commitment will carry on every day to carry out that mission and, and deliver that exceptional care for the people that we serve.